Maybe the crisis for Australian people is this idea of what Australian identity represents. And metaphorically, a caravan can kind of cross that parallel from one person to the next. I mean, we all have an associated experience with, with the caravan. With the, caravan. <laughs> the other thing about caravans too, that with a little bit of a push they can start evoking, is um, something to do with not belonging. People who do not belong um, get into caravans. They don't belong in Australia. <laughs> belong in a particular place, they move around. It's also fantasies for moving around mm -hmm. Australia with your retirement dream and of course you go around the outside of Australia. It's got the symbolic, symbolic emotional side to it which, which can be interpreted by many people and it's also got the scientific thing. So what we've been trying to do for this opera for the last six years is um, uh, through the multiple events and fabrication of objects etc that have been going on is um, uh, create a body of work which in a sense is suggesting um, that we'd like things to be done around this issue of heart and uh, we've joined forces with the Heart Foundation in France who've really become supportive of the project and they're now creating several of our operas um, they'll be working with the Stockhausens in, um, in Paris and would have worked with them in Cologne just recently. The thing is that a separate thing from the opera, the heart? It's, um, I it's thought that the food architecture would be a place that could um, um, it could be, it's just like the space in which ideas for for opera or other ideas for new projects could be discussed. So it becomes, becomes a space in which uh, it just brings people together. No structural work done to it, it's just very good um, um, publicity. There's a possibility that it that can go forward, so that's why I'm thinking about this caravan, maybe we can transform it into something which can actually function. Great. 
Breathe. Well, no, not you. Not sure. So I've seen people working. We've right. got postgraduates and third years okay. joining us when they can. This is the first time I've been in this building for many a long year, as I imagine it is for most of you. And we look around and we think, what a, what a strange mixture of things it is. And I think it's, it's really a very appropriate thing that our very first use of this building is in fact for Lucy Orta's project, which brings together so many of the anomalies, I think, um, that are part of our present world. And this is a very rare moment in art, and it doesn't come off very often for a person to be able to find ideas, express them through the right materials, and then convert them into powerful social, cultural, political actions. And artists for a long time, throughout this century, throughout the last century I should say, have been fascinated with those sort of abandoned or empty spaces, those marginal spaces. Fascinated on the one hand because that's where the contradictions of the city, the history of the city, the unwritten history perhaps of the city, is where it's most powerful. And artists have always tried to expose bring forward those ideas, bring forward those histories, bring forward those new concepts. But at the same time, they've also found the possibility to think in these spaces where everybody else has walked away from. To also think in those spaces where there was a sort of gap. And I think this is an exciting moment as well for us in this city. And this is what I hope will happen in this space for the next month. And this is one of the actions that I think that um, Lucy's work brings forward. That is the action of thought through practice. The action of putting together different people from different backgrounds with different materials to make something new. And so on that note, I'd like to say my personal welcome to Lucy and I'd also like to express my enthusiasm for this oncoming project. Thank you.